Okay, so here's part C. Hmm. How do we add up this series? Hmm. So maybe, since I already have some triangles, maybe I can well, give myself a little room over here. We could here. figure out what 0, zero plus 1 plus 2 plus, plus all the way up to... Well, what you could do here, maybe, is you could add 1 to everything. Oh. 1 plus 2 plus... Okay, so I add 1 to everything, I get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way up to... N. Because we know how to find something from 1 to N. Oh yeah? What is it's that? It's N times N minus 1. Or is it... So, yeah. No, it's N times N plus 1 over 2. Okay. Sorry to be out of room there. N times N plus 1 over 2. Is that on camera? Yeah. Okay, good. And then... And how do you know this? Well... Because we've, we've talked about this. You can write it backward and you get n plus 1 n's. n plus 1 n's, okay. And that's twice the sum. Alright, so what happens? So now that if I know this is n times n plus 1 over 2, what's this one that starts at 0? Well, it's the same thing, but you have to subtract n. Okay. Because you added n once to everything. Ah, so I just have to subtract n away from this. So n plus n minus, so n plus n plus 1 over 2 minus n. Yeah. So wouldn't that be n minus 1 over 2? n times n plus 1 over 2 minus n. Well, you've got to be careful here. It's not going to just take away this n because this is multiplying it all out. Hmm. So this is really, what is the expression on top of this it's, fraction here? It's n squared times n. n squared plus n. Plus n. So we could say it's n squared over 2? n squared plus n over 2 to minus be. n. Now how do I how do I combine fractions? What do I need to do? Well you need to add a denominator to this one. Okay, so what denominator do I need? Well you need a, you need a 2 to combine them. Okay, so what is this expression here? Oh, it's n over, it's minus n over 1, so you need minus 2n over 2. Minus 2n over 2. Very good. So what does this whole thing become now? becomes n squared plus n minus 2n all over 2. Yeah. And then you can do n squared minus n over 2. n squared minus n over 2. And wouldn't that be the same as n times n minus 1? n over times two? n minus 1 over 2. <laughs> Interesting. So it turns out not just from 1 to n, but from 0 to n minus 1, there's a very simple expression. Cool. And there's a couple other ways we could see it, but that's fine. So we get, we get this. All right? Sure. For that. Interesting. So I get my area, 1 over n squared times n times n minus 1 over 2 when I use n rectangles. Is there anything I can do that simplifies this? Well, you can, uh, well, if you multiply this out now, you, you'd be adding the n squared to something. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I mean, we have an n here. We can cancel the n. Ah, we can cancel an n. So what do I left? What am I left with on the top? So n minus 1 over 2. n minus 1 on the top. Yeah. What's on the bottom? 2n. 2n. Do you see that? I've got n times n. This is like 5 times 4 over 5 times 5 times 2. If n was 5. Yeah. So I can cancel. So, you get five. so I get n minus 1, which is the 4 over 2 yeah. times n. You see that? Hmm. Cool. And what do you think happens with this expression as n as I start using more and more rectangles? Well, you get n over Two, you get n over 2n, because this wouldn't matter a lot. Because hmm. like if you used 100 rectangles, this would barely matter. What would barely matter? The minus 1. If n was 100. Oh. Or if if n was 100, what would this expression be? It would be 99 over 200. Which looks a lot like what number? It's a lot like a half. Okay. What about if n was a thousand? Well, it would be matter even less. Nine hundred ninety-nine over, over two thousand. Which looks a lot like what? Half. Okay. So, what do you think happens as I start using more and more rectangles? It just it gets closer and closer to a half. What does? The expression. And that expression represented what? The it was, 
was the area of the triangle? When I chopped it up into n rectangles. And so what's happening? So we're getting closer and closer to this. A half. A half. So that's pretty neat. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. So it seems to work, this idea of chopping into rectangles, which we know how to find the area of, and then adding up the areas. Maybe if you used, like, n equals infinity. Yeah? What would happen? Well, you'd have infinity over 2 infinity. Oh. Hmm. But does... But I read somewhere that infinity divided by anything is still infinity. Yeah, so... So this would still... Infinity, it messes this up a bit. A bit. That's why it's tricky. That's why the, uh, there's a really important idea in here. But let me go on to the next step. Okay. Okay.